Coffee. Ah. You know, I remember my first cup of coffee. Actually, it was my first four cups. I was a freshman in college, leaving the cafeteria, heading to a final exam when I heard these two geeky guys say that it was a scientific fact that drinking four cups of coffee before an exam would improve your grade. Well, I turned right back around and downed four cups, loaded with sugar and half and half, so it would taste less coffee-like. I got a B minus on the exam, and I couldn't sleep for two nights. Coffee was much simpler in those days. I'll always be a Maxwell housewife. You got it at the A&P and made it in the percolator at home. And then there was instant coffee. Remember Sanka? Sanka, huh? Ordering coffee was simple too. Light and sweet, regular, black. This is Mr. Coffee. At some point, Mr. Coffee exploded onto the scene. And from there, well, things just got really complicated. Vente breve, half calf, half skinny, extra hot soy, gingerbread, macchiato, campane with a caramel drizzle? What happened? Was it the yuppies' fault? Was it their need for bigger, more expensive and exotic coffee makers? A dizzying array of choices, pods, packets, and these little milk frothing thingies? I mean, it's gotten to the point that if you don't grind your own beans, you don't want anyone to know because the bean pedigree is oh so important. This is from the Sadamo region in Ethiopia. I turned to James Freeman, self-described coffee lunatic and founder of Blue Bottle Coffee for answers to my burning coffee questions. Is it true that if you drink coffee, it, it can make you smarter? That's smarter, funnier, funnier? more attractive, healthier, oh everything. Well, okay then. What you want to do is you want to agitate a little bit. And Make cup. it mad, agitate. Exactly. Yeah. James taught me about cupping, which I learned is an acquired skill. And to bury your face yeah, in, like wine tasting. First there's sniffing, then pouring. The spout is very focused. Then more sniffing. You really are a brown noser then. That's right? right. Then slurping. That's the technical term. You said lips parallel to the table? I thought you'll get a better slurp. <laughs> James used to make his living playing the clarinet. Making great music, he says, is not all that different from making great coffee. So there's music to coffee. Yeah. Coffee Everything. has sings. I love the java, java, and it loves me. Java. This gets inverted, sort of like your water cooler in your office. OK. James brews iced coffee in a kind of Rube Goldberg contraption for 12 hours. Now we adjust the drips. They should go about 88 beats per minute. Like a metronome? Exactly. Yeah. It's the last movement of the Mozart clarinet concerto. That is coffee. Woo! Coffee, water, time, and that's it. Coffee, water, and time. Wow. Now I get it. I'm late. I got to go.